Just Videl asks, how long have you been collecting? A very long time. We have R2 Mr. T2, the Empire Strikes Bike. And a piece of the Millennium Falcon, mostly custom made helmets. Go back to your trash pit. Thank goodness. Nosef asks, why are you such a normal guy? I expected you to be very strange. Duh. I always think it's humorous that you're humble and funny. Well, thank you, Nosef. Uh, I am who I am, and uh, what you see is what you get with me. Um, so I'm not an actor. I've just lucked into having this Star Wars career by collecting and then writing 17 books on Star Wars and then opening Rancho Obi-Wan. And I love people. I love fellow fans. And I've gone around the world and talked to fans. I'm glad that you think I come across as a normal, humble, and funny guy. Thank you. Chase Max asks, what is your favorite movie in the franchise? Mine is The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, recent movie, Chase. Uh, you must be a young'un. My favorite one is... Guerre Stellare. Um, that's Italian for Star Wars. I love Star Wars and I love The Empire Strikes Back. Those are my two favorite movies and sometimes I go back and forth between the two. But without Star Wars, there would not have been The Empire Strikes Back. So I defer to Star Wars as my favorite movie. And I love seeing it in the theater. And it was so amazing and such a wonderful surprise. And look where it's gotten me all these years later. Joe Plays 101427 asks, which is the worst Star Wars film or show you have seen? There is only one the Star Wars Holiday Special. It ran one time only in the US, the fall of 1977, and it was terrible. The Death Stick Dealer asks, what is the thing that was the rarest and hardest to get? Would you believe Yoda? No. This is the tackiest thing that I have in the collection. There we go. So I was on the set of episode one at Leaveson Studios when the Qui-Gon Jinn wax dummy was burned at the funeral pyre. When the set broke, when everybody was dismissed, I followed the guys out the back and they were long gone, but there in the grass I saw they had sprayed the dummy with a fire extinguisher. So there in the grass, I saw a patch of wet cloth and I bent down and sure enough, it was the few remaining tatters of Qui-Gon Jinn's unburned cloak and part of his belt, part of the boot and a food pellet. Didn't have anything to put it in. So I put it in my pocket, which got immediately wet. And that's another story for another time. Fortnite Treasure asks, what was the most recent item you collected? Well, the most recent item I collected were, were these four Star Wars Barbie dolls. And my favorite is the Barbie C-3PO doll. I just love what they did with it. The costume, just a super piece. Legion with a three asks, what was your very first Star Wars collectible? This is this bid booklet with this very strange looking W in the Star Wars logo. This was sent out to theater managers and owners to get them to bid on running Star Wars in their theaters. And this was sent also to journalists I got it because I was working at the Wall Street Journal at the time, and it went to the guy who covered the movie business. He looked at it, he threw it in his trash can, and at the end of the day, I sort of um, rescued it from the wastebasket. That was my first Star Wars item. Mattia Gibbs asks, 
If there was a fire and you could only grab one item, size, weight aside, which would you choose? Well, it's right behind me. And it is this incredible canvas banner from 1976, a year before Star Wars opened in the theaters. It uses art done by the incredible Ralph McQuarrie, the concept designer of Star Wars. And that is his art of Starkiller, which was a composite character in the early drafts of Star Wars. And in fact, the name Starkiller was used at the beginning of the filming of Star Wars. And they had to reshoot some scenes to get in Skywalker when George decided to change the name. And it is the oldest Star Wars item in my collection. Lobster Man asks, what was the moment you decided to start to collect? It was probably late summer of 1977. I walked into a store called Spencer Gifts and there on the counter, on the checkout counter, was this display that had necklaces. Now, normally I don't buy necklaces, but how could you resist a C-3PO with arms that actually moved? R2-D2 with legs that moved? And an X-Wing fighter? And then the bad guy of them all, Darth Vader? I thought, hmm, this is interesting. I could collect them all. And so I bought all four of the necklaces that day, and that was the start of really me deciding to collect in quantity. Oh, hi. Um, Max Davis asks, how do you keep your items clean? I can imagine it takes a lot of time to dust off everything in the collection. Well, it would if we did. Um, we keep it clean mainly by the fact that the museum has no windows and we have electrostatic air filters on all the heat and air conditioning units. But really, before a major event like a gala, we have a volunteer crew that comes in and dusts everything down very carefully. Dino Monzon asks, do you have a least favorite Star Wars character? Well, none of these guys. I like all the classic trilogy characters. I must say, I never liked the Nemoidians, the bad guys in the prequels, especially in episode one from the Trade Federation. They look like bugs. Santeri Hoka asks, what is your favorite character from Star Wars? Well, my favorite character is this one, and this is my original Obi-Wan Ben Kenobi action figure from 1978 when they first came out on cards. And I really like the gravita that he added to the movie, the Alec Guinness uh, acting. He was... Uh, he was a mentor to Luke Skywalker. He was the one who got Luke to leave home and start on his amazing journey. And in my professional and personal life, I've been a mentor to a number of people too. And so I identified with Obi-Wan. Ryan Basil asks, how many of the cast have you met over the years? Oh, you don't mean like this kind of cast. You mean actors, I guess. Well, I've met a lot. I used to go on tours around the world at fan conventions and a lot of the actors would be autographing. So I got to say hello at least to people like Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen and Natalie Portman, uh, Ian McDermott, I know. Um, so people like that. So a lot of the, mo the actors from the classic trilogy I've known, uh, Jeremy Bullock, Boba Fett, Anthony Daniels, C-3PO, the late Peter Mayhew, uh, uh, Chewbacca, uh, Daniel Logan, the young Boba Fett. So over the years, many of the actors that I've interacted with. Here's a cool question. What's your favorite officially released figurine from the original trilogy? It's this guy over here. It's Luke Skywalker, but with a double telescoping lightsaber. Nicola Marie asks, is your collection open for viewing by the public? You have a beautiful collection. Sorry, during the engagement of return... Oh, that doesn't mean anything. Yes, uh, unfortunately, during the pandemic, we're closed down, but we normally do tours on Saturday mornings for 10 to 12 people. And uh, since we're closed down now, 
we have a virtual tour of the Star Wars Museum online at RanchoObiWan.org and you sub can subscribe at one of several levels and see new, fresh videos and um, have fun and support Rancho Obi-Wan. Thank you for asking.